somebody is entitled to their feelings. And my feelings, me seeing the situation based off of the internet, right? The internet is very, very messy. Very messy. It's like disturbing. you. And yeah, that is it that's involved around FBG Duck, even what the sister said anything. tonight, is disturbing, right? Me coming as a father, as FBG Duck father, I didn't mean no disrespect to the sister yes, when did. I said what I said. Yes, but at did. the same time, you do it get you online with whack this child's father so and seeing the way my child was raised, right? I said I don't want to kill her. Of course, I don't want nothing to happen to the sister. But at the same time, my emotions, my feelings as a father, seeing my child dead, this is how I would, <coughs> how I would feel. I listen. I put, I posted a video up already on this topic, talking about taking accountability, right? As parents, as people in the in the hood, well, as parents, when do you start taking accountability? Okay. okay, so let's take accountability for the fact that you let this man touch you when you were 12, you're 13 years old or 12, and then you continue to work for him as security. Let's talk about that. Let's also talk about the fact that you allegedly did some sort of crime for him, putting yourself in jail for African bravado. Okay, and then after all said and done, you use that same situation that claimed to be a very troubling situation for you to get money online. And then after that, you started going after rappers, anyone that you could, and to paint this picture like some man that was reformed, but we all know that's not true. So, let's take accountability for you too. On how we raise our children, where we raise our children at. I just listened to, that, to listen to the sister say how she was in a hotel and she didn't know her child was dead for four hours. Where is the accountability? You see what I'm saying? I'm not punishing the sister. I'm saying we have to learn from our mistakes. If you can't look yourself in the mirror and say, this is where I fucked up, you're going to continuously keep on fucking up. And this is why I'm saying this is where she ended up losing five children. Wow, well, that's just, no you don't know. You don't I don't know. say that with hate. I say it with love. The problem is in the black community, once you tell somebody that they shit stink, they don't like you. I'm not trying to sugarcoat shit because there's too many deaths going on. When I listen to that song, Dead Bitch by FBG Duck, right? Me being a father, or me being somebody that just understands enough, Duck said in that song, by the age of 12, he knew he was a demon. At the age of 12, I was he just said, with Scott Jones and Transformers. Let me just say this. Everybody knows people do stuff for, for clout, right? They do it on their raps. If I was rapping, I might say something, right? I could say that. And then I could be some square chick at the house. So let's just stop. And I'm only doing that because it's like, if you want to be a rapper, Hassan, just say that. Say you want to be like the, say you want to be Jim Jones. You want to be them. You admire them. And you're mad because FBG Duck, okay? made it and you did it. He didn't have to get molested to do to get out in the world. He did his thing. He did his dream. And you're mad because you're not mad because those kids you know, passed away. You're mad because you're trying to get clout. Okay? Let's just be real. He's trying to get clout and he gets it. He has 340,000 subscribers. I'm a subscriber but not on my own channel. <laughs> just to watch what craziness comes out of them so I can get alerted about it. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, it's it's crazy. I don't feel like going every day and checking, you know, every once in a while. But now, after Kwame Brown has outed him, which I'm glad he did, he's become national news, at least for us on YouTube. <laughs> so I'll get back to it. So me sitting back and being the father that I am, and wise enough to know, having the, 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 the intellect to know, there's no way in hell that a child should be raised in a home at 12 years old where he feel like he's a demon. So that means from one years old, two years old, three years old, all the way up 10, 11, 12, he done went through the worst shit that you could ever go through in the home of a black woman. No disrespect to the system. In the community of black people, being raised by a black woman, Without a father who was locked up for 27 years. And meanwhile, me being in the hood, and this is why I keep this in the gang members of the drug dealers, somebody was selling this sister crack. 
So mentally, she couldn't even be the mother that she was supposed to. I grew up with a praying mother that made some of the same mistakes. But she raised me to be a prayer warrior to put balance. Once you invoke the devil in your life, there is no heaven for you. So when I sit back and I say what I say, I say it out of love. It wasn't towards disrespect for the system. You got to take accountability in a community. And the reality of it is, Doc is everything that he was raised to be. He was shaped and molded in hell, so he became a demon at 12. And then when she unleashed him outside, how she said, everybody feared him. They feared my son. Then he comes out with a song, invoking death and making fun of the dead, right? Disrespecting T-Boy. He put that song out. And even though I heard videos where he talked about trying to come together, it was too late. He lit the, he lit the wick on the, dynam on the dynamite. And all these people that's acting like they love up now should have stopped that shit before it got that far. And I don't even understand the hate that I'm getting when the dude that killed Duck Moloch was still out in Chicago up until now with a pair of sneakers on with Duck, with a Duck on it, disrespecting the dead. I speak out against all of this. No disrespect to the system. But at the end of the day, yeah, until black it. parents are held accountable for the... But you're on here talking about knocking, uh, you know, getting somebody's snot box knocked. That's what you do. And you out here trying to go against rappers and all this. Look how you're dressed. Like, you're not reformed. You're not someone that someone should look up to either. So, at the end of the day, if a rapper is a rapper, then a fake is a fake. Like you. Okay? You should understand that. You're trying to sim you're trying to simulate a gangster. You're not. Wait, the way we neglect our kids? Mistreat our kids? You gonna tell me that I'm being disrespectful? When I had to actually listen to a sister say that after having 10 kids, five of those kids was subtracted by this earth and I can't tell a sister she got to be accountable for this? Well, on top of the fact that no disrespect to the system, but I don't see King Bond mother all over the internet the way she is. It is embarrassing. I don't see her disrespecting no while she said she forgave him but made fun of me being molested because I said she needs to take accountability for what her son went through on the street. Please explain that to me. How did I become the enemy when I actually got love for Duck? I mean, no disrespect to that sister. She got to look herself in the mirror and take herself back to the age of 12 when that boy said he became a demon and then asked how he get to that mentality. When Ducks is going across the street and Swans is going across the street, and they see danger, they move to the other side. When you know there's danger in the hood with your children, you move them out of there. We don't leave them in that. But your, your kids live in hell. As well. Wow. Let me ask you a question though, bro. We all know that within our community, right, it's a lot that goes on and handicap us as a people. You know, you probably a better person today uh, after seeing what your parents, man, where they bought her family for that, right? So she admits that, you know, she was a drug addict. My father was a drug addict. It's a lot of things I wish I could have did if I had a father around, but I, I, you know, I did, you know. We all got our short covers, right? Um, my question to you is this, right? And you don't mind me asking because you open up, you open up the door to it, right? And because I really don't know your story. I know this is pieces of my left foot too, right? Um, when you was violated, was you an adolescent, was you a teenager, how old you? I was 12 years old, and I came from a home. Mind you, African band model wasn't the first person to molest me. I was being molested down there when I was four or five years old by different multiple people. Okay, I now let me ask you a question, right? This, so, so where was your parents at? This is born. My father was a junkie. And my mother, with, with my mother needs to take accountability, may she rest in peace. She needs to take accountability for the things that she allowed me to go to. Go through. Okay, so listen. So I saw, listen. So I say that, say this, right? Then, you know, um, the same things that her son may have fell short of because he wasn't there as a parent, right? It's true to say that you fell short of because your parents they wasn't there to do what they were supposed to do, right? 
Now, I understand your anger. Now, because in your mind, you are ducky, ducky, you. I get it, right? Because you feel like, yo, as a kid, my parents wasn't there. They feel short, and these things happened to, to, to me. So you're pretty much saying, you as a parent, you wasn't there for your child. So it's no need to act like you don't know what's going on or what happened to your child, right? But, uh, you know, you know, point a finger. There's three back coming at back you. at you. So I understand your Three million. Because it's a little touch for you. Because you're seeing it different. You're seeing your story get written in a different way. Now, am I, am I kind of right? Oh, you yeah. absolutely. All right, so what I'm saying is. You can't do that. that. Know that right? Um, I think personally, we should go ahead on the foreclosure because there's no telling what else she got to do. 